All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh. This is uh, GMS Boston Bar coming with a live stream. As you know, the Lord had it set up this way because we got basically um, we got blasted with a blizzard, you know, we got 15, inches of, 15 inches of snow here in Boston. And, you know, a lot of brothers were stuck in, so. Word must go forth anyway, you know. Satan can't hinder this word from going up. So the spirit had it so that we got together. And as we're running through these news articles, which basically headlining in the news is, you know, war, war, more war. So I guess this would be with this uh this lesson I'm going to on this third world war, which is, you know, prophecy. All right? It's one of the last major wars. I don't think what the men of the Lord are looking for. Um, as is, which is a token toward what? The destruction of this nation. Satan being divided against Satan. Two even my nations, uh, Titan nations going at it and ultimately one wiping out the other. All right. That one being election as it was prophesied. All right. I got a preset. Yep. Go ahead, brother. Um, this is uh, Matthew 24 and 6. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Go ahead. You got it? Yep. Go ahead, brother. You want me to break it down? No, no, no. Um, There's more on that. Oh, there's more on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Con. Uh, for what nations, did I read? Uh, against nation. Yeah. What did I read? 24 and 26? I'm losing yep. my mind. 24 and 26. Yeah. Um, Damn, I got it right here. I'm going to finish it. Yeah, you can finish it, girl. Yeah, Baba Kusha. All right, Carl, this is Matthew 24 and 7. Yep. So nations shall rise against nations. Yep. And kingdom against kingdom. Yep. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Mm -hmm. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Yeah, so um, the scripture say you should hear wars and rumors of wars uh, for the end is not yet. And then it says for nations shall rise up against nation. And what's nation? That word nation is nationalities. All right, which are least wars. You should hear of uh, uh, famines in diverse places, and these are the, some of the things that are taking place on the earth a nationwide, a, a worldwide food shortages. All right, as um, these food companies and farms aren't producing as much as food, uh, basically, they aren't keeping up with the demand. And this change, this global chain supplies, has reached and affected the world because of things that's going on. Primarily, Argicult, you got, matter of fact, you had um, uh, news articles of this guy, Kill Gates, basically buying up all sorts of farmland here in America and then investing money simultaneously at the same time into, you know, uh, basically science food, veggie burgers, shit burgers, <laughs> genetically yeah. modified organisms, you know? And this is all a part of what? All a part of prophecy, all a part of why. This beast must be destroyed. What the scriptures say, destroy these, destroy, destroy the earth, because they want to monopolize. Um, was it Monsanto? All right, the food industry. All right, so they could basically uh, fill it with poison. Um, all a part of their what their new world order and I, the Georgia Guidestones and depopulation. I got an article for you up as well, yeah, brother. This is by the Guardian.com. It says, "No kill." Lab grown meat to go on sale for first time. It's uh, mm -hmm. it says cultured meat producing bioreactors without the slaughter of an animal has been approved for sale by a regulatory authority for the first time. The development has mm -hmm. been hailed as a landmark moment across the meat industry. The chicken bites produced by the U.S. company East Just have uh, have passed a safety review by the Singapore Food Agency, and the approval could open the door to future. To a future when all meat is produced without the killing of livestock, the company said. And I can I can I can uh, add on to that because when you uh, watch this episode of the most expensive with uh, two chains, he went into this company called Just Meat, and yeah, Just Meat was growing um, chicken nuggets and petri dishes, and they was growing. Uh, uh, it was producing eggs without, you know, saying without the chicken, you know. Mm -hmm. So this thing is a real effect that's going to come in. Even they have that uh, 
that's toilet green. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie or people out there in YouTube land ever seen the movie Soylent Green, and it's a Charleston Heston movie. And you know, every movie that Charleston Heston plays in comes to light. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whether it be Planet of the Apes, uh, uh, Omega Men, which is uh, the new movie, uh, you know, with Will Smith, uh, 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 I Am Legend. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. these movies they're coming to effect into effect in this time right here. So Solid Green is one of those movies where they produce uh, human waste as consumption, which yeah. is, you know, if you die, they'll they'll mingle up your body and you can eat the person, you know? Yeah, if I may add too, now it says that um, they're looking into a future where you don't have to kill livestock to eat. So basically, uh, they're, this devil's trying to uh, pretty much create uh 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 meat out of out of nothing and that that know. right there is is trying to be like the heavenly father man that's try he because th this is what we're saying the so-called white man esau edom you know try is trying to be like the lord and that is one of the attributes that the scriptures um you know uh tell us about this man yeah. so this is how we know that the so-called white men are the edomites man because they they're trying to be like the heavenly father man when you when you try to create meat you're trying to create things and 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 you're trying to take upon creation you know you you you're trying to circumvent what the lord you know um already has uh uh pretty much created mm -hmm. you know he said he gave us specific laws you know in the in the in the scriptures on what type of animals we can eat and what type of animals we cannot eat right but this God. devil will tell you you know He'll, he'll go around and say, you know, that you could eat pork, you know, you could eat all kind of abominable, abominable things. And now his new his new thing is, you know, he, he he's going to create something for you to eat. And that's trying to be like the Heavenly Father. He's trying to do one better than the Heavenly Father, man. This is why we know this is why we know the so-called white man is the devil. The Bible speaks of, man. That's a clean cut truth right there. You know, I got a piece of as well. Mm -hmm. I'm yep, I'm the book of Ezekiel 4 and 13. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread. The right. I will drive them. Right. And this, you know, this is mainly to throw off the, the nation of Israel because the so called white man, he's profane, which means he's outside the temple. So he has no place when it comes to righteousness. Righteousness and the so called white man can't go together in one goddamn sentence, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So this is so this this man don't give it don't give a crap what he eats, mm -hmm. you know, because he's vile, he doesn't care, right? But the, the children of Israel, we're a holy people. And even even in our ignorance, mm -hmm. we still have an incline into what's holy, man. That's right. You know, yeah, even in our in, even in our ignorance, we we you know it, you know, Jake is gonna have a hard time uh uh, uh eating the eating that garbage, man. Fake meat and shit, you know. Because yeah, got, we, we are, we are we, our, our spirits, our spirits were created, you know, to be joined to the heavenly Father, man. You know, I got some real quick. And more, more than that too. If I could add real quick, and then I'll let you read real quick, Karab. Yeah, we, we're mm -hmm. supposed to be uh, at ease with nature. We're supposed to be one with nature. That's how the Most High tuned the children of Israel to be. You know, mm -hmm. so that we can be one with Him, like you said. Right. You know, bro. Go ahead, Karan. Uh, Karan, Karan. Um, to add on to the point of the brother uh the bar, like the scriptures say, uh the man that keeps the law ignorantly is because it's the law in himself. But from paraphrasing, we'll find right. but um mm -hmm. that's only that our people are drawn to the heavenly father. So one way or another, they're gonna they're gonna keep the law not a hundred percent and not uh willingly, but there's gonna be something in them that's gonna activate it to be, oh, I'm not gonna touch this one, I'm not gonna touch this. Right. Um what did Paul say Paul says lucky, brother. You got it. I'll be a record. Um, of the children of Israel that they, you know, they, they have uh, zeal, yep. they have zeal, zeal, but not according to knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, like, I got to piece that real quick. I was going to go Proverbs. Oh, okay. No, no, I got it. I want to read this real quick. You can add to it. Come on. It's Proverbs 11 and 1. It says a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and that's right. what, that's what we are. We are just weight. You know, because like I just said, and what every brother is saying, 
you know, we were made for that zeal to kick in at some point in time, but that false balance, he's just an abomination. He's not upright. He's mm -hmm. going to be crooked forever, you know? Right. So um, I want to go back to Ezekiel, the fourth chapter. The brother Yakalan brought out verse 13, but I want to read down real quick because it kind of further proves the point. When you read the verse 14, I'm going to read all the way down to 17, but verse 14 says, Then said I, Ah, Lord Yahweh, behold, my soul hath not been polluted, for from my youth up even till now have I not eaten that which died of itself or is torn in, in pieces, neither come there abom abominable flesh into my mouth. Right? And it says, Then he said unto me, Lo, I have given thee cow's dung for man's dung, and thou shalt mm -hmm. prepare thy bread therewith. So going back mm -hmm. to making meat uh, from, uh, what is it, the shit steaks and stuff like that, hey, man, that's, that's, that's ultimately prophesied in the scripture that it was going to use cow dung and man's dung to uh, prepare food. All right? Uh, uh, Ways they're going to use trash. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. and then, there's, um, also, there's also a law in the scripture that tells you that, that you're not supposed to eat an animal that hasn't shed blood. You can't drown mm -hmm. an animal. There's, see, Little little do the people know that you know the 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 Lord gave us a perfect manual on on how to live, man. How to how to uh, uh, be together as one with this planet, man. But this is why we're telling you people that you know uh, uh, the only way that the the world could go back to being in harmony is minus the so called white man, man. He uh, is the yep. enemy, man. He is the he is the root of the goddamn problem because mm -hmm. this devil is going you know, in the opposite direction to what everything the Heavenly Father has ordained, man. Hmm. Which is why the scriptures call him Satan. Which the word Satan means adversary, man. Who's he going against? Right? He's going against the ordinances of Yahweh yeah. man. Right. And this is why we're telling you people, this devil is not your friend, man. This devil doesn't have uh, uh, you in his best interest, man. His right. interest is nothing but wickedness. Every, every, every night, the scriptures tell us that every night he goes to sleep thinking of wickedness, and in the morning, because he has the power, he was given power. He he practices, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got I got a piece of for you, brother. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah chapter fourteen verse four: That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and right. say, How has the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. That rule the nations as anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole mm -hmm. earth is at rest and it is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fair trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon singing. Since thou art laid down, no floods come up against us. Hell from beneath, uh, hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. Mm. Right. And there's there's so much in, in, in just that that uh that whole chapter, man. Isaiah the fourteen, right? That's what you read out. Mm -hmm. There's so much, man, because number one, who is the ruler, right? Who is the king of Babylon? Which the word Babylon means what? Uh, confusion. That's the so-called white man. Which America being this, uh, the chief seat of Satan, right? And America, what? America is trying to impose its de democracy and is trying to impose the liberty and freedom to, to do all kind of abominations, man. You know, yeah, it, yeah. whatever it may be, whatever you're into, you know, whatever, whether it be, you know, creating uh, uh, fake meat, whether it be uh, homosexuality, whether it be, doesn't matter. America is trying to tell you that you're able to do it. it doesn't matter the consequences. So by default, it's a lawless, is is a lawless society because the real laws, right, are the laws of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Those are the real laws because they go in harmony with nature. Right. So. When this man, the scriptures tell us, when this man gets put gets put down, that's the only time that the world will ever see peace, man. That's, that's right. the only time that the world, not not, I wouldn't even say the world, right? Because a world is is is, you know, could be many things, right? You have the world, yeah. the world, the ants, the world of of whatever. But I would say the earth, right? This that, when, when this man is put down, that'll be the only time that the earth. Will will regrow again. Will replenish again. Will be like the Garden of Eden, man, mm -hmm. as it was intended, right? As the as the the brother just read, right? Since thou art laid down, no fellas come up against us because the number one in in, in the business of lumberjacking is you so you crackers, man. That's you right. know mm -hmm. the symbol the symbol of a lumberjack is what a big big white guy with a with a beard and a, and an a overall right mm -hmm. and an overall and an axe right with a fat belly. 
you know, and and and, and that's indicative of, of of what you are. You you you're a destroyer. Mm -hmm. You're 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 uh, uh um, what, what was that? Was that uh, the the red horse that is spoken of in the Book of Revelations, man? Right. You know. I want right. to. Uh, I got some to continue, brother. Just to mention a quick point, real quick. So that's why the judgment of America has to be so harsh. That's why it has to get burned with fire. Because if you look up um, how green, uh, what is it, greenhouse gas work? All right, it talks about carbon dioxide. All right, and once a fire is uh, kindled, it lets off that smoke, which produces carbon dioxide, and the trees benefit from it. So that shows that the earth is going to grow back in such a better state because it has help from that fire. All right, and that smoke. So that's what ultimately showing you that the, the will of Yahweh Hashem El Shah is perfect. So the work, the earth has to, it's going to get healed. It's going to get fixed once the Lord destroyed this place, man. It has to right. take you out of the problem. Right, that's right. No, uh, yeah. Zion, you back in? You want me to, you want me to keep, keep reading? Yeah, continue if you got something, if you, if you got more. Okay. It said, uh, hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It has stirred up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It has risen up from their thrones, all the kings of the nation. All they speak shall say unto thee, Art thou become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee. The worm shall cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nation? But thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend in heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of power. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell and to the sides of the pits. And this is what brothers are going into. You know, um, we started it out. You know, we, we, we ventured down here. But we started the lesson out talking about uh, basically the Third World War. Mm -hmm. And with that comes, you know, just the pride of Esau, two nations um, not being able to uh, basically se separate the world, you know, take part. I think it was this one article that you, brought, you pulled up where it said the only how that there will be peace unless there's a new world order established. And in that new world order, they're basically saying, look, China has emerged as a superpower. Russia mm -hmm. is no longer that old Soviet Union that it once was. We demand certain respect. We demand uh, 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 so a sovereignty. We demand to be left alone. Not the big bully that you once was. You know, you don't take up as much space or authority that you had. You know, you got to humble yourself down. But we know through the spirit oh. that that's not going to happen. Why? Because of that pride. Yes, yes, yes. Pride is not going to allow uh, the Edomites to be second to nobody. And that's in Esau's spirit when he cried about concerning the blessing, you know? All right. As you can see, this is the article uh, right here. We can read into it. Okay. If anybody got any precept right. they want to bring out before we start. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Add right. the book of Revelation 11 and 4. It is the second world is past. Um, um, and behold, the third world comes quickly. Yep. And what's the, right. the second world was the second world war. And the third world is the third world war. And why did those wars happen? Mm -hmm. it, talked about, it was the establishment of emerging powers. That's why mm -hmm. a, world, a world conflict is a is a war that involves multiple continents. All right. And what you're going to have is you're going to have Eurasia. All right. Getting involved. You're going to have Africa getting involved. You're going to have the Middle East getting involved. You're going to have North America getting involved. All right. Even South America. All right. You're going to have different continents in a global conflict basically over power. And this is the reason why all wars are started basically uh, due, to, due to power. So, you know, as, as as things start to unfold, you know, you're seeing these, these superpowers jockeying for position. All right. And Putin's uh, stance right. is we're not going to allow the adversaries to set up shop on our borders. Just like America with uh, Vladimir Putin, all right, to set up shop in Mexico, you know, and, and, and that's where America draws a line. Vladimir Putin is saying, look, we draw the line in Ukraine. We draw the line in uh, Poland. We draw the line in certain places. We're not going to allow you to sneak up on us and attack us because uh, they've been there before. They, and, they, and they've ignored all the warning signs. They, they ignored the buildup of, of Germany, 
you know, building up on their uh, uh, border, you know, and what to happen, Germany struck. All right, so Putin is saying we're not going to allow this to happen anymore. Right. You got some cardio? Or? Yeah, I do. Uh, man, I got it right here, Slocky. What's that? The computer is going mad slow. Uh, yeah, 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 it's it's choppy. Yeah, I, I gotta put something like uh, an evil thought. That's that's what I was trying to get, but it still is like it's moving mad I'll slow. It. All right, come on, come on. I, I'll find it. While, um, by the way, you got some? Yeah, I got some. It's uh, uh Jeremiah 51 verse uh, uh, verse uh, verse uh, 25. Behold, I am against thee, O the sharp mountain, said the Lord, which destroyed all the earth. And I'll stretch my and I'll stretch my my head upon thee, and roll thee down from the rock, and will make thee a burnt mountain, and they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor stone for a foundation, but thou shalt be just desolate forever, said the Lord. Yeah, so who's the destroying mountain? The destroying mountain mountains going into governments. When you see the word the Bible talking about mountains or hills and villages, it's talking about government. Who's the destroying government? It's America, man. Right. No matter how we, which way you want to slice it, America is that destroying mountain whom the Heavenly Father is against. Go ahead, Bonnie Wall. Verse 27. Uh, set ye up a state in the land, blow the trumpet among the nations, prepare the nations uh, against thee, against her. Oh, together. yeah. That's what, it's like it. That's what we're doing. We're blowing the trumpet. It means to give that warning. And when you look at um, the articles that RT... Uh, puts up. They clearly listening to the apostles. They clearly listening to the prophets that are on the highways and byways. You know their articles reflect exactly what it is that we're saying. And all the all the ancient kings, the heathen kings, in one form of a, a way, listen to the prophets. Whether it was the Persians, the Grecians, uh, Romans, you know the Egyptians, they all had line of communication. All right, uh, whether it was Moses talking directly to Pharaoh. Uh, with the with the men of the Lord, and you know, and you had uh, what was it Daniel told Nebuchadnezzar to his face, you know, about his what was going to happen concerning his kingdom, you know, the rising and the falling, you know, from the pride to the eating of of dung, eating of grass, all right. And we're telling the world, you know, to his face that America is going to be destroyed. America's fate is to be completely annihilated, all right, off the earth, and America will stand as a memorial on how not to live. All right, and why do you think that America is this sweet place, a land of opportunity? You're sadly mistaken. And it's, these realities are, are coming uh, are more and more, all right, uh, smacking uh, these Amer proud Americans in the face each and every passing day. It's getting harder and harder to refute these facts, okay? But America will be destroyed as it is written. Oh, it says, uh, set you up a standard against in the land, blow the trumpet among the nations, Prepare the nations against her, call together against her the kingdoms of yeah, our yeah. men hey. and Ashkenaz. Yeah, who's doing this? Mm -hmm. Who's calling? Who, who's gathering Persia? Right, the Iranians. All right, the Russians. Right, the North North Korea. Everybody's waiting for their opportunity. Everybody is in their place. You know, everybody's waiting. All right, to attack, whether it be a military base to shoot mm -hmm. off a missile. All right, to just kill an American. To set off a bomb, everybody's waiting to play their role. All right, you got ships in the seas. I believe you had the majority of the fleet. Um, matter of fact, I don't, I don't. We'll bring up some articles. You can continue with that scripture, crowd, if you can. But there's plenty of articles of uh, naval exercise joints. All right, that Russia, mm -hmm. and Persia, you uh, know, uh, China is having, and, and where they're located. All right, and you see the movements of troops. Um, whether it's, mass. Yep, whether it's, it's nations sending uh, supplies to the Ukraine, you know, this thing is getting real. 2022, uh, like the okay? That's right. First from the year of hastening the day of our Lord and Savior, which is sonic, it goes hand in hand, man, which proves that with each and every day we're, we're inching closer and closer and closer to the end of this world. That's right. Uh, I mean, mentioned real quick too. They mentioned three um may uh three kingdoms. All right, it says the kingdom of Ararat. It says Mani and Ashkenaz. 
So when you look in the Ararat, that talks about uh, uh, in Turkey, all right? And also Menin goes into the Armenia, uh, I think, I believe it's Armenia. So when you look it up in that region, it also uh, yeah, that goes into the old Soviet, uh, old Soviet Union, an in, in area in which they're trying to fight for um, Crimea, uh, mm -hmm. Georgia. Jordanian yeah. area. Yep. That's right. Yeah. The last yeah, yeah, one, yeah. Oscar, yeah. but you got it. You got it. You want to finish up on that? Oh, uh, you want me to keep yeah. going? Yeah. Okay. It says, uh, appoint a captain against her, cause her horses to come up as the wolf caterpillars, prepare against her the nations of the kings of the Medes. Mm. Yeah, the kings of the Medes. <laughs> All right. And, and, and the Russians, um, in modern day Medes, mm -hmm. uh, collaborating with the ancient Medes, man. All right, that old media Persian empire, all right, being revamped up, pursuing the, the, the biblical prophecy. Scriptures say that uh, Russia was going to be a guide to these nations, right. which would give them confidence. CQ 38, yeah. Yeah, um, I could ask something. Um, three, three, three days ago, um, 2022 Marine Security Belt was started with Iran, China, and Russia. So now I jan, um, um, now, now they join both China and Russia in their naval strikes. To add on to that, mm -hmm. right? And it says also like it says um, and it says uh, prepare against her the nations of the kings of the Medes, the captains thereof, and all the ruler thereof, and all the land of his dominion, and the land shall be trembled and sorrow, for every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon. To make the to make the land of Babylon a desolation without an inhabitant. Mm -hmm. Right, that's ultimately the destruction that's going to come, and and the, and the and the main players that's going to take part in it. Once again, Ezekiel the thirty eighth chapter goes into that. Mm -hmm. right. so going into mm -hmm. this article, this is from RT News, RT .com, and it reads: It says, "Peace with the U.S. Peace with the U.S. only possible after New World Order." All right, it says Putin ally. Right. This is a uh, 2022 the year of uh, Yahweh Bashim El Shah turning up. This is a uh, is a year for crisis between Moscow and Washington, according to one of Russia's most senior senators. Mm. All right, and it says hope that rock bottom relations between Moscow and Washington can be turned around are unlikely uh, at present. At present, it says a top Russian po a politician has claimed, arguing that only when a new world order is established. Will there be less conflict between the two states? All right. see, real quick, just just thinking on a side note, just thinking, um, these Christians don't go into this type of stuff, man. Like yeah. geopolitical, what's going on around the world? Yeah, geopolitical. Like, yeah, like this, these things are important when concerning prophecy, because how many times does the scripture tell us to blow the trumpet? All right, to warn the people, to mm -hmm. lift up the standard, you know, um, to blow ye the trumpet in Zion, you know. It, 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 these are major things that are happening in the world that that has to be addressed. They can't just go, you know, unnoticed. You know, these aren't little things. These are things that directly affect everybody. Right. Everything. You know, what happens over there directly, whether it be the food chain, the supply chain, the materials, raw goods, all right, mm -hmm. uh, people dying, war, you know, it, like, like this, this is very important to dive into and, and and break what's going on in the world down and filter it with the scriptures and to tell the people about these things, even other Israelite camps, you know. So I just wanted to put that out there. Con, con. And going back real quick, it says arguing that only when a new world order is established will there be less conflict between the two states. And yeah, and that's that, that's when war happens because when major powers aren't feeling what's going on. Yep. They feel like they ain't getting a fear shake, but they got too much. We got too much nukes over here. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We got too much weapons over here. We got, and we're gonna use them. You know, that's and right. that's how it normally goes down. Right. Like you ain't you're gonna be six four. You know what I'm saying? Six four, uh, full of muscles. You know, going to the gym every goddamn day of your life, only to get bullied by somebody, you know, of a lesser stature. That's you right. know, even if they, your 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 own stature will come to a point where you're going to defend yourself. You're eventually gonna defend yourself, and this is what's going on. America being that bully. She's going to get bullied. That's right. It also shows you that they, what they what they're putting out is that they can only be one victor. 
It can only be one at the top because if uh, Russia wins, like basically is on top, then that's how it's going to get settled because that, that, you know, Russia already claimed his spot and same vice versa. If America ended up uh, uh, overcoming, you know, which we understand the scriptures, we understand the prophecy, but once again, that's the only way it can be settled. All right. But we understand who got next. We understand that it's the kingdom, the kingdom of Yasha Allah under Yahweh's side that's going to be established. So they're just fighting for a spot that ain't going to never be theirs. Right. And that's that's the heavenly father having them in a trick bag. Yep, that's right. It's on. It says speaking as part of an interview with uh uh Ukraine, Ukraine, it says are you it says earlier this week, it says Pushkov, a close ally of uh President Vladimir Putin, who previously served as a chairman of the state Duma Foreign Affairs Committee, cast his view on the current power dynamic on the world stage. It says the US is a hegemon that is gradually losing its position in the world. He claims, he said they, they suffered a very ser serious defeat in the Middle East. They lost Syria. They lost the Battle of Afghanistan. They were forced mm. to withdraw almost all their troops from Iraq at the end of 2021. All right. Yeah. If, I, if I may refer, bro, right? It says hegemon. The hegemon goes into influences, right? So the US is losing influences, whether it was in Iraq, Afghanistan, you know, or, or, or Turkey, everybody's uh, running away from them because they can't say claim that these devils, they are losing power, you know, and people are jumping ship. They see that Russia, uh, uh, Russia, uh, 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 China, and uh, Japan is going to be next for power to come, not knowing that the Lord Yahweh Meshach already as a people that is, uh, you know, that is building up to be the next rulers of the world to come. So these nations, they are jumping ship, they are uh, 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 over there, one verse, uh, verse seven. All the men of that confederacy, you know, so the other nations they're pretty much leaving America behind and join other nations because they see what's coming. They see that the, the, the whole world is about to be in uproar very soon, you know. Right, and you can't, you can't take any else, take that many losses, and claim to be a winner. And Russia is trying to not allow this to just to be sucked underneath the table. You hear what Putin's saying? Like, look, you niggas, you all, y'all got your ass kicked in Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah. I got your ass kicked in Syria. I got your ass kicked in Iraq. All right, y'all got your ass. Like, don't try to just sweep this underneath the rug, and then try to act like y'all, y'all, y'all big and bad. You know what I'm saying? We, you experience the exposed military. We see how you, your tactics are. We see what you do. We see what your weaknesses are. We see what your strengths are. All right, and we feel uh, united. We could take you on. All right. Not only we could take you on, we we're confident that we would destroy you. All right. So, so we, 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 you know, they're trying to be diplomatic about this and, and basically say, like, look, man, give, give us a cut of the pie. We want a slice of the pie. If not, there will be no peace. And we yeah. know what, what, the, what the opposite of peace is. It's basically war. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. This also goes into that constant proverb because that stigma is now on America. All right, and, and guess what? You know they're gonna follow that stigma. That's why these other nations, uh, under um, outside of Russia, China, you got uh, North Korea. That's why they're acting in, in such ways. You know they said, "Let the weak stay." I'm strong. Yeah, Iran. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because uh, I, can I, I can I read that one more time to you, then, brother? Come on, come on. Two, four. Uh, Babel, uh, Isaiah uh, fourteen and four. Thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, mm -hmm. "How has the oppressor ceased?" Mm. The golden city ceased. The Lord have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. <laughs> That's that yeah. whole point right there. <laughs> right mm. there. And, and it's, it's just not only uh, Russia that's saying that. You know, you have China that's speaking out uh, against the uh, democracy. You know what I'm saying? You have all these nations. You even got even uh, uh, Haiti. <laughs> the people in Haiti that's just like, oh, we don't want you in our land. You know? Right. Even, uh, I got a precept too. You got it. I got a precept. With that, it's Jeremiah 51 and 7. It says, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken her wine, therefore, the nations are mad. And that's yeah. why you're going to start seeing these little nations, they even swelling their chest up against uh Babylon the Great because it has left them with nothing. Okay, they have robbed resources, like the brother said, they have did the most abominable things to the people of those countries, you know. And they think that they're going to ride off into the sunset, sunset again, you know, with the, the earth underneath their thumb, man. Yeah. Okay. If I may add, too, worse, even worse than that, you know, 
having democracy in your country taking hold yeah. of the people's minds is way worse because now you got division of the family. Now you got um, what else? Women's lib coming. Now you got all kinds of goddamn oh hell God. in this order that will basically implode your nation man, from within, which is why Ishmael yeah. would rather strap a bomb in their chest and blow themselves up than allow you devils to come over there you know, preaching women live and all the, or all that bullshit, man. You know, a homosexual right. That that all comes with democracy. So these nations, they understand that if if democracy spreads, the whole idea spreads. You know, they understand that it's game over, man. Their their country, their way of life, their their, their conservative views are out the door, man. Because these countries yeah. have a, they understand a, a a little bit. They have an incline on 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 the ancient ways, because the ancient ways were indeed the way to go right yes the women yes. are in order the women are in order the family established the fa the father's in the house and everything everything is running smooth but let 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 Amer american democracy go into your country see what happens you you, hey. you um you, you're getting a glimpse of that over there in um lebanon look what's going on over there in lebanon man let me read this real quick. let me finish this mm -hmm. off yeah. mm -hmm. right what you're saying brother isaiah 14 and 15 Yet thou should be brought down to hell to the size of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, This is the man that made the earth to tremble, that have shaken kingdoms, <clears throat> made the world a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the houses of prisoners. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in their glory, every one in his own house. But thou art cast out of the grave like an abominable branch. And all the written of those that are slain throughout are through with the sword that go down into the stones of the pit, as the carcasses trodden underneath foot. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed the land and slain thy people, and the seed of mm. evil do shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the space of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, says the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant of the son and the nephew, saith the Lord of hosts. If I may mention too, real quick, Baba Kishan, the scripture talks about that they're going to be brought down into hell. Now, once you think about a body going into the grave, right? After that, it goes into the grave, it's only a remembrance. That's why the nations are like, going to look at him like, with such disdain, like, hold on, this was the man that had his, you know what I'm saying, in, uh, in subjection, this is the man that was ruling, all right, now he's nothing, because once, once again, the body just decomposed, and it goes back to the earth, and it's just, you know, dirt, so this, is, this is how they liken the, uh, the nation of Babylon, and what's it going to be, all right, and eat, and eat, eat, eat them. Yeah, if I may add to, that goes into, like, uh, the store of Lazarus in the Richmond, where, mm -hmm. where, where, where Lazarus was catching hell under the Richmond feet, Right. And finally, the Lord Yahweh Messiah raised up Lazarus, and Lazarus become the, the the slave master. You know, right. you know. So, so our our condition right now is gonna be their reality. Their reality very soon, man. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be the one um begging for mercy. They're gonna be the one uh, asking for a break, man. You know. So, but we're gonna show him in mercy because uh the scripture says uh for he shall have joy without mercy to have no mercy. So these devils, ever since they came into power, they. Act as a, 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 they took vengeance on us as a nation, so the same thing that they did to us can happen to them. You know, that's right. Yep, we read a little bit more after this, and then we can go into another article. All right, this is uh, continuing on. It says, um, uh, here we go. It says, according to Russian senator, ah. U.S. officials are trying to maintain that dominant and dominant influence by having conflict simultaneously with Russia and China. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Yeah, you can't do it. If I'm here real quick, that's why these devils, uh, the scripture says, uh, they don't, they're gonna come down having great wrath because they know that they have but a short time. So his soul's not gonna willingly give up the power, man. He's gonna fight, and that's exactly why the Third World War gonna kick in. He's soul's not gonna bow, like Zion said. He's soul's not gonna allow to be the second person, I know, second one to to be subject to uh, to be subject to uh, Japan and and uh. And, uh in China, he sort of want to be ruled over by the, them gooks, man. So he's gonna uh, 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 find an excuse to to uh, to 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 use his weapons, man. You know, right. although with different degrees of intensity. 
It says Pushkoff noted that this creates a nervous environment in both both in America and the rest of the world. Mm. All right. It also says the U.S. no longer treats us as a secondary power. He explains they treat us as a paramount power, which is why they cite Russia, not China, as one of the main problems facing the Biden administration in 2022. Pushkov, Pushkov warned that it will be a year of uh, crisis between Washington and Moscow. Hmm. As I understand it, they now want to solve the Russian problem, that is, to subjugate uh, practically all of Europe. Pushing Russia to its very uh to its very outskirts, he said, "This is exactly uh, what they need Ukraine for. This next phase will be a political or even military confrontation with China." He also says, uh, Pushkov added that America's poli uh, political and financial elite believe that they are the the only ones who can run the world. Mm. Do not intend to let anyone else take the helm. So until a new world order is established in which the U.S. is weaker and its role is uh, diminished, we will be in more or less acute political uh, conflict uh, with them. Hey, man, that, that, that shows you that these heathens were not designed to rule, man. They're not designed to, to rule the world because they can't even come in simple agreement, man. You know, this is why the, Lord, the, this is why the world needs a, a profitable uh, a ruler, man. Mm. But these these devils, you know, uh, uh, they're nothing but heathens. You know, they they ha they don't have an incline in, in rulership. They weren't meant to rule, right? But because you know we went off as a people, that's exactly that's the, that's our punishment, man. Being ruled by base men, you know, weak base men, man. You know, and this is why the Lord's getting ready to come back, right? Because He has His remnant. He has a remnant that He sa that He's gonna save. And it's gonna establish the the real rulership, and and you ain't gonna have none of this shit going on in our kingdom. You ain't gonna have no disputes on who who's the bigger power, who's doing this, who's doing that. It's gonna be dry cut and clear, man. Who's in power? All right, that you you a heathen, you're below us, and that's it. You know, that's how we need to. Daniel two verse forty four, Daniel two verse forty four, and he reads on, and in the days of these kings shall the most high of heaven, Yahweh Shai set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the right. kingdom shall not be left to other people but right. it shall but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and shall stand forever yeah, and it shall stand forever man our, our the kingdom of heaven you know it's gonna stand forever because why because the pillars of, of the kingdom are gonna be you know uh, uh put in the right place you know uh, uh, the pillars is what holds holds the kingdom together you know, and, and, the, and the foundation, right, which is what, which is this temple that's being built, the, the elect having the, um, you know, the uh, uh, law says and commandments written in their inward parts. And you heathens under, under clear cut subjection, man, that's where you heathens need to be. You know, you, you, you are a rat eating goddamn gooks. You ain't going to be next, man. And, and, and neither is these Russians, man, because you, these Russians are Edomites. They're going into slavery. Well. All right. Well. Yeah. As well. Yeah, you know, I mean, oh, you, like, mm -hmm. go ahead, bro. I mean, yeah, the, the prophecy clearly said that Jacob, uh, that Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So, no matter how much laws, legislation, desperate that's attempt that they're trying to come up with to uh to keep themselves going, it's for it's all for no value because the will of Yahweh right. mm -hmm. will prevail no matter what, you know, right? Right, so they 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 know they understand prophecy to a certain degree. That's why these devils are called light bearers, because in order for you to have, you know, in order for you to be called a light bearer, right, everybody else must be in darkness. Everybody else got to know nothing, and you, and, you, and you know something. So these devils know they ain't going to inherit the earth, man. They can't inherit the earth. So guess what? They're going to try to bring as many people as they can down with them, all right, especially Jake, because we're the main problem. We're the main targets in the New World Order agenda. So guess what? They're going to try to take us down by all means, man. Right. We're directly in opposition to everything that they stand for. Which is yeah, ultimately right. the opposition. The left is the uh, is opposition which will lead. Gone. Yeah, I got, I got some more articles. Well, this is on the screen right here. So I'm gonna just read off some of them. It says Moscow warns fallout if UK seizes property of Russian uh, oligarchs. Right. You jump down. It also says uh, Russia has made a breakthrough with NATO. 
It says all types of sanctions for Russia on the table. Hmm. So, West lying about World War II. U.S. Hmm. calls on arch rival for help against Russia. So it says, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, this is again. You you see that it's uh amplifying, man. It's wartime. It's wartime right now, bro. You know, it's definitely uh stirring up those spirits. The scripture says that um the the, the king's heart is in the Lord's hand. I got you, bro. I got you. My back here. Um, uh, Proverb twenty one verse one. Proverb twenty one verse one. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Yahweh Shemeshai. As the river of water, he turned it fit whatsoever it will. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I got one. Uh, this is uh, Revelation, uh, Revelation chapter sixteen, uh, verse fourteen. Uh, uh, for they are they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of the Lord Almighty. Uh, behold, and cometh the thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garment clean, lest he walk naked and he see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called in Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you break down what is in Hebrew is a uh, Hamagadon, which is the um, mountain of truth, mm -hmm. you know, which is also going into what the valley of decision, the valley yep. of the house of God. Yeah, how about you know, he's stirring them people uh, in that direction, he's stirring yep. those nations in that direction, and definitely yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna see this kick off more and more this year. It, it has mm -hmm. to. Yeah, if I may, right? Whether you people know it or not, man, you know the scripture says, uh, while you sleep, the Lord put your instruction in you to do to, to for you to do what you need to do in the next days. So whether they, they know it or not, they are doing exactly what the Lord wants some people, man. The third world war is a part of Yahweh movie, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is Joel, Joel chapter three verse nine. Mm -hmm. It says, "Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare okay. war, wake up the mighty man." Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your puny hooks into spears. Let the weak stand strong. Yeah. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen. Yeah. Wait. What's the arms? The arms race about, man. The arms race is what is is a war. Those are wartime uh, uh, jobs. They called it in World War Two. They used to call it the war production. So yeah. what happens is that these nations, right? Because it tells you that pruning hooks. Let them turn your pruning hooks into spears. So, what, agriculture. What, right. These are agriculture instruments, and, and, and you do farming in time of mainly in time of peace. Mm -hmm. But once you go, once this time of war, you know, now, now you, you all those, all these jobs now they got to, you know, that they, these nations have are going to be mainly in what in factories, building ammunition, building mm -hmm. uh, uh, missiles, building all kinds of shit to prepare for war. Yeah. You and, had, you had American that, citizens, um, Giving up their medals. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And these people, and these people also said, you know, on the comment board, what does this have to do with me? So if the if the world goes to war, it's gonna be less agriculture being produced, okay, which is gonna proceed in you know the famine and everything like that. And these people can't get it. You know, because we started out talking about the shortages of food and right. what food production right. is and everything. But when you go into that scripture, like that brother was saying, the pruning hooks, mm -hmm. we're going to change the pruning hooks into weapons of war. So these nations that's already suffering with shortages and everything, they're going to be put to the side more or less to get ready for what's coming up in the battle with Jehoshaphat. Yeah. You know, right. that's, right. that's why once, once the war pops off, yeah, all these um shipping. Uh, 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 vessels, you know, that are moving to and fro freely. You think that's gonna be happening during wartime? Uh, hell, hell no, hell, hell no. no. Yeah. Them submarines are gonna be those are gonna, it, it's gonna, that piracy is gonna come back into full effect, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you think on, in a water is open, uh, it's fair game, man. Fair game. If you think, if you think you're just gonna just uh, a vessel full of yeah. Chinese goods is just gonna move to and fro as they please, you're out of your mind. And then that leads to what? Oil. The, the closing of the Straits of Hormuz. You had these nations basically doing drills, Iran in particular, because that's Iran's region, on closing that strait. Now, when you look at the, the statistics, all right, of, of the, the world, the percentages of the world's oil that leads out of that strait, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's damaging. 
All right yes. to the economy. That's medicine. That's food. That's gas. That's clean. That's how you. Uh, uh, that's how you heat your houses. That's everything. So what does that have to do with you? Everything. And that's the problem with people in the world. They don't understand geopolitical politics. It has everything. Putin has. Putin directly affects you. The president of China directly affects you. Yeah. Right, what rocket hey. boy does directly affects you. Right. Hey, you, you, if I'm if I may, you just gotta look at what. At World War II as an example. Right. What, what, yes. did, what did the Germans started doing? They started sending the submarine and wolf packs. And what what what, 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 what yeah, the U-boats, what were their first their first targets? The, the, the ships going to UK, they almost starved Britain out. British yeah, the lane. Starving, the shipping lanes. Yeah, the Russians were starving, and guess what? If you're starving, you, you can't fight. <laughs> you, right. you, yeah, that's a that's a strategic military strategy. Mm-hmm. We'll always tell you you gotta and they did the same thing in Mossada. Where they cut off, cut off supply lines. Cut off supply line. That's the first thing you do if you're in a war. Yeah. Now, war time, now, you now, what makes it supply. worse for you? What makes it worse for you is during the Second World War, it wasn't a problem for America. Why wasn't it a problem for America? Because during this time, America had all kind of factories in which right. they were producing these things themselves. Right. You know, the Boeing, the Boeing, America lost the Boeing contract. The the, mm-hmm. the, 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 the company that actually makes America's uh, military planes Plane is actually too. overseas. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine that. So this time around, America's gonna get caught with her pants down because yeah. these factories don't exist anymore, man. Right. So the majority of these factories are in China. They're in yeah. Europe. All right. They're in a, a third world country. Going to America's greed. America yeah. wanted to be greedy. Hey, man. When you when you're a consumer. You know, you're you're left to the mercy of the of of the provider, man. That's also, right. Yeah, so that's the problem. You you're left to the mercy of the provider, man. So, you know, if the provider don't come around, man. You starving, man. Hey, let so, me sir. read this again. Let me read this again, buddy. Right, going because it's going into what we're talking about. Uh, Joel chapter three, verse ten. It says, yes. "Use plow shears into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I'm strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen." And gather yourselves together round about to the cost of mighty ones to come down. Let the heathen be awakened to come into the valley of the howitz of pot. For there would I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is right. All right, come. Yeah, I, yeah. I got something to back you up real quick. On the I, I got more. You want to jump in real quick? Go ahead, yeah, jump in real quick and you can get it. Um, on the screen, I think it's from PBS.org, it says war production. It says American industry provided almost two thirds of all the Allied, mil- Allied military equipment produced during the war. And we give you the kind of uh, 297,000 aircrafts, 193,000 uh, artillery pieces, 86,000 tanks, and 2 million army trucks. It says President Roosevelt did what he could to talk to a reluctant yeah. yeah. nation uh, to focus on economic. To focus the economic might on military preparedness. So, hey, hey, hold on. Yep, yeah. yeah, go ahead, bro. Saki, yeah. brother. Go ahead, nah, brother. Nah, 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 that was going right back to what you had mentioned. Beat your power. No, because, yeah, because the brother tells the y'all about that scripture where he mm-hmm. talked about America being a golden cup in the Lord's hand. And what mm-hmm. a beautiful time, right, to be an American ci- a citizen when old Teddy, Theodore Teddy Roosevelt, mm-hmm. was um, in office, right? That that, yep. that power, that influence, mm-hmm. you know. Um, Americans went places and, and got the red carpet rolled out for them, you know. Yep. At this time, America was it, it, business was booming. They were providing people with weapons. They were providing people <laughs> so that when they came through, you know, you you got down or you laid down. Mm-hmm. You know, it. it was a different time. It was a different time, and they provided these things for these other nations. And and, and boy, how the tables have uh, uh turned. Mm-hmm. Or, or, is anybody surprised? You can't rule the world in wickedness, you know. Uh, it, this was before uh, uh, social media, right? Before Facebook, before the internet. You didn't. Ha- you didn't have. There was no such thing as alternative news. WikiLeaks, no, uh, WikiLeaks, insiders. You know. Wow. It's a. Uh, it, it was an article. It was an article that uh, that brother Karab had posted, and we just we just reading briefly, but it says Russia's seeking to work out a deal with NATO. Now I got Revelation 17 and 16 because it's, it's going right there where you know it's turning its face away from Babylon the Great. You know, the Lord is turning its face away from this place and getting ready to put holy hell on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when you read Revelation 17 and 16, pursuant to that uh 
that little article uh, title that we've seen, it says, In the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Okay? So NATO, which is the EU, okay, NATO and the EU together, all right, because it's nations that were added in there. But, uh, you know, what's going to happen is Putin's going to work out that magnificent deal that's going to make these places to be like, oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Let's hey, hey, up. Yeah, it goes yeah. into it if you start at the top. Top, you want me to start up? I just yeah. get to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you got to well, let's, yeah. let's, 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 because it's a buildup. Mm -hmm. It's something that's yeah. happening here when you go into Revelation. What did John say in the beginning? He said, I was carried off into the spirit, right? Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And, 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 and it's giving the vibration of what's going on. And through the spirit, we've been blessed with that knowledge and wisdom to decode, you know, these secrets and to push them out. And, and, and guess what? They're happening, man. And it's beautiful yeah. to see. All right. So I'm going to start from one. This is uh, yep. Revelation chapter 17 and one. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, now, isn't that with what whom the kings about? of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunken with the blood of her fornication. Yep. And these other nations. You want me to continue up? No. Can you hear me, bro? Right. Can you hear me, bro? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, uh, this is exactly what this this lesson has been about, man. Read that again from the top of the show. Yep, it's Revelation chapter seventeen and one. It says, "And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying, Unto me, come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters." Yeah, this with the, whom we're talking, we're talking about ahead, the judgment bro. of America. We're mm -hmm. talking about the judgment of America. And it says, keep, keep going. Whom? With, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Now, after the okay. second world so, war. Yep, yeah, yeah, go ahead, brother. No, go ahead. Say what you're saying. Say, after the second world war, it, it, it was it was all it left one sole superpower, and it was obvious to the world. Yep. Who was that dominant power? Who had that influence? And what these European nations did, they said, look, we'll give up our money, right? And in and, 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 and exchange of making the U.S. dollar the reserve currency in the world, all right? And this okay. U.S. dollar would be backed by gold, all right? It'll be backed by gold, and, and this will be the standard, and this is how we'll operate, you know? You you guys will be our support militarily if, if there's a conflict. They created things like he had the legal nations, which was started, was produced mm -hmm. after the first world war, and mm -hmm. then you had the United Nations. But these were things to uh, stop global conflict. Then you had NATO, yep. which was created to do what to stop, stop against uh, the Russian aggression. Russian. Then you had the European mm -hmm. Union who wanted you know to get together and and do their thing. So this is what this is this is exactly what what the scriptures. Is referring to in this chapter, and this is exactly what we're going into. These nations that had this agreement, but I said that because America removed the gold standard, and once they removed the gold standard, they started playing a dirty game, and these other nations started to quietly seek to get away from the dirty game that these Americans were playing. Now you had uh, this guy, uh, the the Gaddafi, not Gaddafi, the other one. Uh, you know so, so saying, yeah, he tried to move away from the American dollar and tried to, because uh, after they after they they removed the gold standard, they had to have something to back it up. And what they used to back it up was the petrol. All right, they used the petrol in mm -hmm. and, 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 and you had Saddam Hussein who tried to move away from America, and look what happened to him. Yep. Look what happened to him. The Europeans wasn't in an agreement with that. See, there's a certain amount of of, of, of troops that the Europeans have to send. If a, if a memory of a, a member from NATO goes into war, what mm -hmm. they did was they sent the bare minimum. They wasn't with that. And that was the beginning stages of them, uh, that that them starting to hate the, the beast, starting to hate the war because she was a bully. And not only was she a bully, she started inflating the money, printing it at a uh, astronomical rate, deflating right. it. All right, she started mm -hmm. playing dirty. And this is what the scripture is going to. And this is the reason why, ultimately, why this third world war is going to happen. And it's <laughs> 
Oh, go ahead, Teddy. Real quick, even when you respected uh, Saddam Hussein and also uh, Gaddafi, they made them a public example to kind of like show the world, you know what I mean, uh, what not to do. All right. So now, once again, you know, now America's starting to fall into that same ladder, man. All right. They about to they about to receive the same judgment as 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 those two men that they have uh, put to death, man. All right, they're gonna be open for sure. And like the saying goes, uh, it's no fun when a rabbit gets it, man. All right, so you got it up. Go ahead, y'all come on. Give me the job, brother. Isaiah, thirteen. Does it? Um, not, 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 you know. Wait, uh, can you hold that and read, read what you got, Tazayaf? Yeah, I'm gonna finish up. It's uh Revelation chapter seventeen and. The third uh, verse, it says, so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and, and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornications. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahawashai. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Mm -hmm. and hey, angel... Go ahead, bro. You got it. You, go, you, you, um, you, you're going to read the whole thing? Because I think so a good point a good point is made on verse 16 there it's 13 or 13 13 and down you want me to read 13 and down yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. revelation 17 verse 13 these have one mind and shall give the power and strength unto the beast these shall make war of the land and the land shall overcome them for his lord of lords and kings of kings and they that are with him are called chosen and faithful. And he said unto me, The water which thou sowest, what a what whole city are people in multitude of in multitude of nations and, and tongues, and the ten horns which thou sowest upon the head upon the beast, these shall hit the whore and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So how much had put in the heart to fulfill his world and to agree. And to give the kingdom unto the beast, unto the word of the Most High should be fulfilled. And right. the woman which thou sowest in that great city, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Yeah. Yeah. So going into the, um, what is it, the EU? Yep. Yeah, the NATO and the EU. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to eventually, you know, point their nukes over here. That's right. At, at America, man. As the scriptures say, all ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Yeah. Spare no arrows. So any nation that w yields nuclear capable uh, uh, weapons are going to launch missiles. The scriptures say, uh, what? Um, they're going to be over 200,000 200, yeah. yeah. of, of missiles, man. So it's, it, America's going to be completely obliterated, man. Right. There's no chance, zero chance of survival. All right. Come on. You got something, y'all? Yeah. Go ahead, oh, read that real quick. Break, yeah. The boy won't back you up real quick. Revelation 9, verse uh, verse 16. Says, uh, and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, 000, and I heard the number of them. Right. And the, and now you got to keep in mind that when the apostle John was seeing this vision, you know, he didn't know, uh, you know, speaking as a man, he didn't know that, you know, they, they, they won't be called. Uh, ICBMs, right? So mm. they described it as best as they could. Some described, some prophets described it as horses, or they described it as arrows, you know. And now the scriptures say that they shall not break their ranks mm. because they're gonna find their target here in America, and there's nobody that's gonna, uh, 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 you know, deter these nukes from hitting America, man. Plain and simple, man. America will be destroyed, uh, presuming in the scriptures. And now, if you go, if you read over. Uh, Revelations, uh, the 18th chapter, is gonna tell you that it, that that America will be a barren desert, with uh, where in desert creatures are gonna be dwelling, right? right? So the, the only thing that the only way that could happen is by a nuclear uh, holocaust happening in America, man. That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, brother said, like, grab him again. Oh. Okay, come on, come on. 
Yeah, what I pulled up on the screen was um, a list of states with nuclear weapons, right? And they kind of give you the, the amount that they have as well. All right, as you can see, U.S. at the top, it says Russia. But it's in total, when you look at Russia, it says 6,257, all right? When you look at the other nations, they don't have nowhere near close to Russia, all right? No. So with those nations not having much, or some nations not having any, what's the first thing they're going to do? You know, they're going to want to go purchase one or some, you or know, make that, or make alliances. Yeah, that's right. So it makes sense that the reason why these nations, uh, the weak nation is going to go and, and, and team up or those um, Confederate nations that was once with America, that's going to uh, turn that back on America to team up with, with, the, with the enemy. All right. Uh, sure. it shows, yeah, it shows that the, 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 the might and the destruction that's going to take place and fall on this place is going to be uh, going to be hard. And these nations ain't going to want no problem. You know? But you got it. Yakalam, you had something to read, bro? Yeah, man. Um, I was going to go into the book of Isaiah 13 and get right down to 17 because, yeah, you know, bro. you guys are not only talking about the destruction of this place, but you mentioned how this devil plays with the petrodollar and um, all these sanctions, especially coming into what's going on with our Russia. How even though they're talking nukes, they're still talking about things on them. And it says right here, Isaiah 13 and 17, Behold, I will stir up the needs against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. So when war really pops off, it ain't. <laughs> yeah, man, it ain't you, can't, you, can't you can't put a dollar You can't put a dollar amount. Yeah. On that ass whooping, man. Yeah, exactly. Once it's up there, once it's up there, it's stuck there. Like, there ain't nothing you yeah. can do. That's right. There ain't nothing you can do. Buy your way out of it. Oh, no. you can't, yeah. Mm. You can't buy a piece. For years, also years, America, America was doing that. He was uh, using that money for defense. You know, mm -hmm. as long as it had that that correct uh, back into it. But now that it's inflated or it's fake fiat money, so to speak. They don't have no leg to stand on anymore, man. Yeah, the only form of the no, only form of payment that they're willing to receive is what blood. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Hey, that's 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 in, that's in the law. That's yeah. in the law. If yeah. you shed blood, your blood got to be shed. Yeah. All right. Oh no, Karabi. Go ahead. Yeah, said how they use, um, how they use Gaddafi and thing as an example. That was also a bad thing too, because in these countries knew how they would get down, and um, it says right here. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. The eyes shall not spare children. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency shall be the Lord overdo Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it dwell in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of dolphins, and owls shall dwell there, and uh, what? Satyrs shall dance there, and wild beasts of islands shall dwell there, and desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant places, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. That's right. That's right. That's right. And that's coming. That's coming soon. All right. To, to America. I got I got uh, Nahum three because like, like that brother said you know uh, any amount of money won't stop an ass whooping that's coming <laughs> and this is you know Nineveh it says Nineveh but you got to think of it how that prophet seen it the only city that he seen was big like that was the city that he came from so that's why he put Nineveh's complete uh, ruin all right. And this is Nahum. He says, Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. The noise of a, of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing of horses and of the jumping of chariots. So a lot of business going on. You know what I'm saying? That's what he seen. He said, The horseman lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. And there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses. And there is none in of their corpses. They stumble upon the corpses, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft, behold, I am against thee, said the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirt upon the face, and will show the nations their nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame, 
and I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee foul and will set thee as a gazing stock. Yeah, okay? not, not, too many, not too many kingdoms could fulfill, fulfill these shoes, man. Yeah. These, are, these are really big shoes to fulfill. These are major prophecies to fulfill. There's not too many places um, that, that uh, with the capability of, of, of you know, uh, committing such a such a daunting task, man. Mm -hmm. All right. If I can back you up with the book of Revelation 18 and 2, I say that because the bar you mentioned how that democracy, what it does to our countries, and um, China, the prime minister actually said that democracy is a form of a weapon of mass destruction. That's because right. Yeah. Calm, because Revelation 18 and uh, 2 says, and he, and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And through that democracy, look what America pushes. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this this country really does fit that fit that characteristic of all men of wickedness that could pass in this place. And to read yeah. on to add on what we were speaking on, for all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are whacked rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sin, and that ye receive not of her plague. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Lord hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. How much has she glorified herself and lived deliciously? So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I said a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her. When they see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, um, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Right. Not too many, not again, not too many nations um can 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 walk in those shoes, right? There. There's not too many places on the earth where you can say, Well, there's a potential that these people can do this or these people mm -hmm. can do that. Without a shadow of a doubt, that's talking about America. That's right. That last kingdom, all right? That last kingdom that must be destroyed uh, before, you know, just before our Lord returns and mm. sets up his kingdom, which is the kingdom of heaven, that's which right. is the kingdom of Yashali, the so called Black Native Americans and Hispanics. And this is what this is about. This is what the prophecies um, state. This is the good news, the gospel, that, you know, we have a savior, we have a deliverer, you know, we have a superhero. We have somebody to look up to. We have a history, you know. We have a book. We have a place that we're yearning to go back to, mm -hmm. you know, a homeland. And we're not just kings and porch monkeys and sticks and tomahawks and wetbacks. And, uh, you know, we, we, we are great people. And this is the story of Yalba Shim Yashai. He was a man of war, right? These people had lived through violence. And this is how they're going to go down. They're going to go down by way of violence. That's yeah. right. I got a precept. This is Galatians 6 and uh, verse 7. Be not deceived, Yahweh Bahashim Yashat Ma. For whatsoever a man saw, that shall yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. America sowed the seeds of destruction, yeah, so they got to reap it. And we don't yeah. care about what the other nations did in the past or what, what tribal globalism, what tribal disputes was happening. And, mm -hmm. you know, we don't, we don't, we're not into all that. We're into you getting, uh, you receiving. You just do your reward, like the scriptures say. You reap what you sow. Yes. You sow the cheese of slavery, of destruction, of hatred. And now, once people start hating you, you want to get along. What does scripture say? When you cease to spoil, that's when you should be spoiled. You, be spoiled. Yeah. you, done, you done robbed and raped the whole world. If somebody else, you know, invaded, uh, uh, you invaded, you basically put a no air zone on Libya. You invaded Iraq. You invaded uh, uh, Syria. You invaded uh, Afghanistan, all right? You invaded all these nations, and God forbid, uh, 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 Russia, even if they were right right or wrong, Russia wants to invade the Ukraine, and now you're ready to go to, you ready to go to a, thermo, a fully thermonuclear a war over it. You're a hypocrite. 
You're a yeah. hypocrite. There's something psychologically, right. uh, fundamentally, morally, and mentally, physically wrong with you. And you, 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 you must be uh, stopped because you brought the world to the brink of destruction. The world is really on edge, all right, because of, of your hypocrisy. That's the reason why the world is on edge. And the world is going to be destroyed because of your hypocrisy. I got one real quick, bro. Uh, Colossians 3, verse 25. But he that do it for him shall receive for the one which he had done, and there do speak of persons. Yeah, you can't wiggle out of this, man. You, nope. can't, you can't wiggle out of this. You can't. You know? The grips is too tight. And you're you know, going to pay. Cool. Yeah. That scope is 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 ten times thousand zoom in on all your iniquities, man. Right. You know, it's it's public record. How do you see Esau? Once that case is closed, it's public record. That's public it. record, man. You can look this stuff up. You can Google it. We're in, uh, we're in the information age, man. It's all out there. That's I'm right. Freedom of Information Act. Yeah. The, yeah. the men of the Lord. There's court cases, there's documents, there's physical evidence, there's proof of everything that we say. You know, everything that we say is legitimate. There's no conspiracy theories, there's no, it's not bullshit, it's not watered down, you know, there's fit no narrative, you know, it's the truth. Okay. And we recommend you don't not to take what we say, but do your own research. Do your own research. Now, I think I think they have been doing their own research, you know. Because they they taking down all the uh, the statues, so to speak, you know, and they taking those down because, as it states in the in the scriptures, that it should be a uh, a shameful spewing. Habakkuk two and sixteen it says, "Thou art filled with shameful glory, mm -hmm. thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand." Right. Yeah. Shall be turned on to thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy mm -hmm. on thy glory. You know, right. and that's one of the uh the things that the Most High said that they was going to do. They was going to put uh, you know, statues to commemorate their 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 achievements, which all their achievements are wicked. You know, that's right. Yeah, and that's why it's a shameful spewing on their glory. Yeah, the way they've gotten everything has been through robbing, pillaging. Mm -hmm. You know, ever since ever since they came in, into into the scene again, man, since the Renaissance, yeah. the rebirth, going back to the uh, 13th century, these devils have done nothing but steal, kill with the sword, um, you know, and so forth, man. And all the all, all the prolific all the prolific men are, are nothing but criminals, man. You know, and murderers. Yeah, murderers. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Cristobal Colon, uh, mm -hmm. known as Christopher Columbus, is a is a goddamn murderer and a and a rapist. Yeah. You know, down to the founding fathers of America, all the all the prolific men of the so called white man are nothing but evil conniving murderers, man. Unlike unlike the the the, the, the nation of Israel, all, all of our men, our prolific men, are righteous. You know, all right. the. Right, right, right. Your you founding know? father, your founding. We got dirt on all your founding fathers. Yeah. Hmm. What, are you, what, are you, what are you gonna say about Abraham, mm -hmm. Isaac, and Jacob? <laughs> the worst thing you could say is that Jacob supplanted. You know, you know, right. Jacob supplanted Esau. You yeah, know, yeah. Abraham lied about his wife. Yeah. And uh, what you gonna say about uh Jacob? Yeah. You know, you can't say nothing. We we don't have uh you know, we you're not gonna find dirt on our 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 our, our, our forefathers, man. Right. You know, our forefathers right. didn't have slave teeth, slave teeth in their mouth. Right. You know, our right. forefathers Amen. didn't. If I mean, right, the scripture says a, a good name is, is better than riches. You know what I'm saying? So your name goes into your legacy. So the right. legacy of our forefathers speak for itself, man. Right. 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 Yeah, right. man. You're, the the legacy of the so-called white man, man, is evil, man. This 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 guy is evil, man. Mm -hmm. This is the evil of the earth, right there, man. That's a that's the actually the weapon of the lord because you know you were the weapon that was brought um uh, against the children of israel for going off man. Yep, yep you know and, and 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 what does a weapon do a weapon strikes kills you know that, that's what it's designed to do chapter verse five go ahead bro no, it's, uh, ecclesiastes 10 verse 8 because of unrighteous dealings oh, injuries and reaching god by deceit the mm -hmm. kingdom is transited from one people to another. 
Yeah, and, you, and you're temporary, man. Once the Lord has done using you, He gonna get rid of you, man. He gonna dispose of you, man. And 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 that that is um something that you like to practice. E Esau, Edom, once he's done using you, he always disposes you, right? So the Lord's getting ready to do the same thing to him. He's gotcha. he's already uh 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 came to his uh you know already came to a uh, 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 full t tuition of what the Lord ordained him to do. Now it's time for him to go down, go into slavery, and ultimately just be wiped out, man. Be done away with you. We, we're sick and tired of you crackers, man. We, I, me personally, I can speak for all the brothers. We're tired of you crackers, yeah, man. You crackers, you got them devils got to go, man. You got this devil, you de damn devils got to pay you. You damn devils have been uh, 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 doing, getting away with your shit for so long, man. So goddamn long. You know, and, and nothing has come upon you yet, man. Because why? Because the Lord's saving you for holy hell, man. It's gonna be a holy, a separated hell just for you, yeah. just for you, man. That's yeah, man. A separate plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just for you. That's it. That's it. Right. Let's say uh, I got you, brother. I back. I back you up with a precept. Yeah. Uh, uh, Isaiah. I thought you. Um. Isaiah chapter uh, 14, verse 9. It says, Hell from beneath is moved for mm -hmm. thee to meet thee at thy coming to serve the dead to thee, even the chief ones of the earth. Uh, it had risen up from the thrones in all the nations. Yeah. So, um, yeah, hell is licking its chops, man. Yeah, it's a special it's hell, man. The grave is waiting for you. That's right. Sure. That, you know? And you, you, you can call us racist. All you want, but we don't give a shit what you call us, man. Because that's what, that's you're what the ultimate, you're the ultimate goddamn racist, man. At the end of the day, man. Yeah. All right, you, 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 you a hypocrite, like the brother was getting into, man. You, you love, you've been, you've been, uh, 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 uh you know, uh, spe spewing racism for so long, and now that now that we want to stick up for our, our people, yeah, right, yeah. and say now nah, now we're racist, now not no now that's yeah. bad, now we're yeah, now hey, we're they say um they say Jake 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 makes everything about race, but hold on, the very the very fabric of the foundation of America was yeah. has been right. and is and will always be about race, a race, yeah, you devils made you devils made the the water fountain separate, you yeah. know. You made the school about race. You made, hey, mm -hmm. Mickey Mouse is about race. One of the, um, one of the, Mickey Mouse is one of the most influenced characters recognized by kids all around the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number, n number one, all right, I think, I think the second one was Santa Claus. It, it, it interchangeable. But nevertheless, that character was made off of blackface, man. Right. So, Mickey Mouse was a, a blackface. So, you know, and that's the staple of America, man. Every, yeah. any little thing. You brothers will be surprised, and sisters that's that's what that's tuning in will be surprised as to what actually goes back to racism. You know, the firefighters, the, the pole. You see why they got? You know why they got the firefighter pole? Because there was this one, um, it was this one one, one town down south, and with the I could have been I don't don't don't, I, I don't quote me on it on the town where it was, but it was you know they would do what they would do is they would have competitions to see which firehouse was the fastest firehouse. And it was just Jake Firehouse that was always winning. It was always kicking ass. And, and it was this pole that they had. Um, I, I forgot what the pole was for, but Jake was sliding down the motherfucking pole. And then once Esau saw that what Jake was doing, that, that became standard in every firehouse. And now you have firehouse. All the firehouses have poles in which they slide down mm -hmm. to basically increase their time limit. You know, so many stories. I could go on for, I could go on for days about stories in which how Jake influenced or created or, or 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 came up with something that 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 basically made innovation, which innovation goes into what, like inventions to make life easier or better or greater. Yeah, 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 man. These devils, if, um, going into cemeteries too. These devils, you know, they they don't even want to be, you know, they don't even allow uh, Jake to be buried in their same cemeteries, man. So even in death, man, these devils, you devils have you created the division. Well, I shouldn't say you. I, I would say the Heavenly Father created the division. There is a division, clearly. As even always, man. Death, man. Yep. Even in death, life and death, man. Yeah. So this division is there, yeah. man. You can't just you can't just put it aside and be like, oh, no, racism. We need to fix racism. Nah, man. The only time racism will be fixed is when the right people are in power and the, and you got them crackers are in subjection 
and right. and like the brother Ryan that's up in the spirit world says, that the, you know, you you the, you devils are gonna be good when you're dead. That's it. The yeah. only good the only good Edomite is a that's dead one. <laughs> that, that's it. That's <laughs> it. You that, that, corrupt? That's yeah, come on, come. To back you up, uh, Jeremiah fifty one verse nineteen says, the portion, "The portion of Jacob is not like him." Mm. It says, uh, "For he is the former of all things." And yes, sir. the rod of his inheritance. Yeah, yeah. What what what, 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 what good inventions have Esau made to make the earth or the earth a better, a better place? place? Yeah. All right. The only inventions you got you crack is made has been nothing but death and destruction, man. Weapons, yes, all kinds of weapons, the Gatling gun, uh, uh, you you name it. But when we create, when Jay create, we create for life, man. You know, we're we're more interested in life. You know, you devils are interested in death because you are the harbinger of death. Right. Yeah. You know, death and hell follows everywhere. The scriptures tell us that death and hell follows everywhere. Everywhere the so-called white man goes, Oop, they go to town, or they goes, there goes the city. You know, there goes the, the island. You know, yeah, you, you, that you was the nerve to say yeah. that when we move in the neighborhood, the, the population. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Uh, we devalue the population, but when they move into the neighborhood, God yeah. damn, you take everything, man. Yeah, yeah look at the red, um, red apocalypto. What is apocalypto? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Movie, when yeah. You, yeah. When you, when the that was the end of the movie, you dealt with the horizon, man. Because yeah. you know, it, you, you decimate everywhere. Everywhere you go, you you, you decimate, man. Doesn't yeah. matter. You you and your explorations and shit, you decimate, man. You know, all throughout time, all throughout here, you go, you can go back to the Grecians. You can go back to the Grecian Alexander the Creep, and, and everywhere that motherfucker went, man, is decimation and death. All right. Then his generals. Then uh uh, uh the oceans, Everybody. The Romans, you know, uh, they all brought forth death, man. That's you right. know, and, and and honestly, the world is tired. The world, the world hasn't seen rest since you've been, you know, since you've been walking around. Eh? You know, they 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 they're, they're salivating at the mouth to see rest, man. And and the only time rest will come is when we empower, man. The how is the animals, the animals, man, the zoos, the safari. Yeah. You know? far, yeah, you got uh poachers and shit, uh, uh killing rhinos and and uh, let, yeah, man, let let a cracker, uh, 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 even even uh, uh take a, a a plant out of its place is not supposed to, man. You gonna feel the 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 whole the whole arm, the whole wrath, man. You gonna be making it sin. <laughs> yeah, let, let let you let you take up a, a little, even a little, even a little plant, man. You gonna feel pick it, a dandy. Man. Go ahead and pick a dandy line, and she was gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> Thing was gonna happen, man. Yeah, man. You know, it's funny that you say that because them Karens be chasing people that just be skateboarding like they're mad animals. You know what I'm saying? Like a skateboarder. Oh, there's pictures, of, you know. there's pictures of um the birds like trying to destroy the goddamn 5G tower, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. You're the devil, man. You devils, man. Your 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 line of terror is only for so long. You you you're the main terrorist. Every see, this is the thing. Everything you you label everybody, it is you. It's right. you. Everything they can't you label look in the everybody mirror. else is fucking you, man. And you yeah. want to label everybody else everything that you are to, to uh, get the, the the focus away from who you really are. Yeah. But the well, devil, well, the Bible yeah, well, let's go into it. I got some. He, label, he, he labels Ishikar the, the drug dealer. He right. Like the and this devil was the <laughs> this devil was the main one. So right. <laughs> fucking right. Yeah. yeah. He labeled right. Ishmael. He labeled Ishmael a terrorist, and yet you're the you're the one bringing terrorists since 1442. Right. Come on, Judas man. the thug. Judas the thug. But who taught them niggas to be like that? Yeah, exactly. Like, like who? Like really? Let's be honest, bro. Yeah. Like who? Who, who taught? Who taught these? Like when you go back to the mob, those old mob uh, mob movies in Chicago in 1930s, and you know what I'm saying, 1920s, 1910s, and whatnot. You know, you had the Jewish mob, you had the Irish mob, or the Italian mob. You had all these different white mobs that were just doing drive-by shootings. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. white Indians shooting each other recklessly. Like, who the hell taught all these niggas to be goddamn niggas? And then you promoted menace to society and boys in the hood and put drugs. You created these monsters, man. Right. You created these. these are invitation niggas, man. You're the original goddamn nigger, man. Yeah, man. And, and what about even going back to the Romans? The Romans were the ultimate, the ultimate thugs, man. They were, what was retribution about when you didn't want to pay? Well, when you didn't want to pay uh, uh, what they want, the taxes and the commission. What will happen to you? They'll send the whole legion, 
they'll send legions after you and and, and, and pretty much destroy you, man. Yep. That that that's niggerism right there, man. Yeah. Yeah, at its finest. Right. You know, uh, uh, the CIA. What's the CIA about, man? The mm -hmm. uh, 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 all these uh, uh, um, what do you call this? Uh, uh, intelligence agency. The the um, the, uh, what's the, 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 uh, the uh, Mossad. The Mossad. The the um. What's MI6. The other, MI6. Yo, uh, what 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 are they about? A bunch of niggas, man. Same thing. They they're into extortion. They're, they're into our, our top of governments. Oh, oh, well, 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 check this out. Since you mentioned extortion, right? And, and, and like, you know, let's get, like, get into it, right? When you're mm -hmm. dealing with banks, don't you know underneath an article that banks aren't allowed to lend money because they're actually the borrowers? Yeah, and, right. And, and we, you know, when you sit there and you think about it, you say, wait a minute, you're the one who give their your money to the banks. Right. They take your money, all right, and they lend it money. out. We'll make profit. Right, essentially, who's the borrowers? Think about the like Esau. This guy, this guy manipulates him and and then turned the whole world upside down. And he's all fraud. He's all fraud oh, and manipulation. Yeah. Think about it. You actually give your money to the bank. They take your money, lend it and out, make, make money off it, make interest, and then they'll turn around and penalize you. So according to fraud, according according to like what, what the actual definition of fraud is. The banks get away with that on a daily basis. Right. All it is is usury and fraud, according to their own articles and penal code. Yeah. You can't give me money. I can't let you borrow money that doesn't exist. And that's essentially what the banks do. And by law, they're allowed to lend about, I think, about like three times as much as money that they have. Mm -hmm. That's fraud. You're dealing with a fraudulent system. Uh, usury. It's usury. Yeah. I got one record, bro. Uh, second Thessalonians two and uh, two and uh, and uh, and four, and he says the uh, top, right? from the top, right? Yeah, he says, uh, now I beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahusha Hamashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that he be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as for us. As from us as the day of your house is at hand, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except the cup of falling over first, and that men of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know what will hold it, that it might be revealed at in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, and only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him who is working, so like even him who's coming is after the working of Satan before the power and signs and lying wonders. And that's why Esau is being exposed, my friends. That's why Esau is being exposed. You know? He's being exposed. And this is why we're destroying him. And this is the reason why he's uh, is counterattacked to what, take down our videos, to slander us. Mm -hmm. You know, try to put, make a pain us out to be a cult. You know? Right. If I may mention real quick, when you read the scripture, um goes into the um uh weapons of our warfare and our carnival mighty through your how about you know shout to the pulling down the stronghold. When you look up a yes. definition of stronghold, that's the wall of a of a of a kingdom, right? So that's what basically no enemy can come uh can can enter. You know what I mean? But once again with that wall, which is giving us a clear opening to, to you know to attack, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's only that the lies that they just keep the rules keeping this kingdom up and intact. You know what I'm saying? So now, once again, now that it's being exposed, now that the holes are being created, walls are coming down. Now you're identifying who the wicked is, and guess what? Eventually, you know how how about now? Sean's gonna enter into that kingdom and destroy it. That's All right. 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 you no. Know? First, and you take him down, That's you know. Right. And also, and also, too, Joshua said, um, in a time of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act, and that's exactly why we hate it because the truth is not profitable. These devils, man, 
this devil's That's death right. and empire on falsehood, lies, and deception. Now the truth comes out. Now they're screaming hate, hate speech. You know what I'm saying? Right. The main, main objective to them would be to what? To stop those people that are that are exposing the lies, that are mm. breaking down the wall. Because that's their only, that's their only, uh, how can I say it, um, uh, defense of, you know, uh, being uh, overtaken. Yeah. You know, so the purpose of them is just, hey, you know, take the channels down, you know, uh, uh, cut your, you, uh, cut your, uh, your video, you know, uh, with the labels and the stigmas that they put upon it, you know, right. woke speech. All right. Yeah. Uh, cancel is, culture. Yeah, cancel culture. Yeah, yeah. culture. What is it called? Uh, extradite? Extradite, yep. yeah. Extradite, yep. You know, try to banish her. You know what I'm saying? These yeah, are the things. Excluding. Yeah, these are the things oh, that no, they ostracize. 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 Yeah. Extradite is to be transferred. Oh, yeah. I ostracize. As a prisoner. Yeah. As a prisoner. Yeah. Cast away. Yep, yep. Cast away. Yeah, ostracize. ostracize. Yeah, yeah. Right. They're, trying to, they're trying to make you seem like you're the, you're, the, you're the bad guy. You know, that's the power of Esau. Esau has the power to turn a good man to, into, and give him a bad reputation. And a, <laughs> and a bad man, he, he put him as angel of light, man. That's why the scriptures say woe unto them that call good evil, evil good and good evil. Good. They have that power over what the media, which is mass communications, which is which mass is. manipulation. That's right. When which when 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 in, in, in the wrong hands, yeah, that's definitely mass uh manipulation in the wrong hands, man. Mm -hmm. I got one and, bro. and that was uh that was prophesied anyways when you read Wisdom of Solomon in the second chapter. All right, mm -hmm. it was prophesied that that devil was gonna get angry. You know, because we're not for his tone. We're not. We're not in the way of wickedness. You know, we only want to do what's right and pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So that devil gets upset when you won't go his way. You know. I got one real quick on Second Ezra chapter six, uh, verse uh, verse twenty seven. Second Ezra six verse twenty seven. For evil shall be put out, and the seed shall be quenched. As for mm -hmm. faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall overcome, and the truth which had been so long without fruit shall be declared. That's right. right. I got a, a precept too. We saw, we saw, we saw once, like, uh, what was that? What's that news reporter? What's he called, LeBron James? Said, shut up and dribble. Shut up and dribble. Yeah. yeah. That's what he saw, he saw wants you to shut up and dribble and shut up and yeah. continue to, 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 to uh, be willing to uh, go along with their system. Yeah, stay in, stay in your lane. Your lane. Yep. Stay in your lane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a, I got a precept. Um, yeah. Nahum, Nahum three and five. Behold, I am against thee, said the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you see those movies and the woman dress goes up. You know that shame that yeah. shame covers her, man. That's shameful. Yeah. That embarrassing. Oh, oh. You know oh. what I'm saying? Same with the oh. same, same with this place. Okay, hey, you can't even say that nowadays. These bitches don't got no shame. No yeah, shame. yeah, they got no shame. They, they, got no shame. Shame. Yeah. they do it for likes. Yeah. Yeah. They come out, they come out all naked and showing butt cheeks and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah there ain't no shame. Oh. Nowadays. But once again, that's a product of what that was created. Esau, 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 yeah. They'll just say uh, a, a shameless woman should be accounted as a dog. dog. Yeah. Yeah. A female, a female dog is a bitch. A bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yeah, they, and they they get mad when you call them bitches, man. It shows you even the connection between uh, Eve and the serpent, man. You know yeah, how much he uplifted Eve to the point where this is her attitude. This is her how she moved, and she moved like Eve. Yeah. Yo, they think yo, they think they're valuable, man. They think they're valuable. <laughs> they're right. bitches, man. They 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 not. They, 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 they need a heavy dosage of Kevin Samuels. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, that pride has deceived them. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. they face. Yeah. Hey, but hey, it, yeah, that's the spirit, man. Because the Lord. Be, the Lord's been getting heavy on the apostles, the the the, the elders to bring out a lot of videos concerning these women, man. These women yeah. are crazy, but yeah. but yet again, yeah, going sure. into Babylon, the, the deceit, because that's a deceit. You you got you got to be deceived, not to see that that what you're doing is 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 abominable. It's not the way to, it's not the way to live, man. Yeah, you know, and, and and who told you that the serpent, man, which is Esau Edom, man. Yeah. Esau Edom told you, you know, you could be free, women slave. And a, a woman can walk out with, with her uh, chest all, all shown and shit, you know, which is, that's shameful, man. 
That's, that's shameful, that's you know, right. putting women in equal uh, playing field with men. Come on, man. You, you, you had a uh, you had a uh, recently you had a match UFC match. You know that it was it was it's the first uh, um, match between uh, uh, a man and a female, and and boy went bad for that bitch. No way. No way. She got smoked, man. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, this devil is crazy. He also, oh, oh, also the uh, the first transgender, right, that went in into the Olympics, started winning all kinds of all kinds of uh medals. That's the weightlifter. You know? Yeah, the weightlifter. That fucking <laughs> demon. <laughs> call up, demon. Call yeah. up, if I may add too, because through our feminism, you know, even convince these women, because we've been talking about war and rumors of war and get ready for war. He didn't talk these women into their own demise because when that draft comes around, you know, you had a woman in the comment board saying, I ain't going to let my son go this time. Well, that's cool because this devil's going to take you, man. All do that feminist movement. You want to be yes. like a man? Yeah. You can carry that M16. And they were pushing it during that G.I. Jane, and they show you in the new James Bond movies. You know, they, they gas up women to think that they're strong. But, you know, a brother did that lesson. To where Serena Williams even said that she ain't better than the weakest, she ain't better than the weakest tennis player in the male um in the male division. Men and women are equal. Well, she well Serena was raised by her father, and her father yeah. was semi in his right state of mind. Yeah. You know? and and you could you could tell when people are raised with two parents. You know, the Jacksons was raised. With two. And you see how Joe Jackson was, you know. See how mm -hmm. Serena's father mm -hmm. was. The iron fist. <laughs> yeah, we were the iron fist, I like a man, like an alpha man, not mm -hmm. like a goddamn beta. He had he had them dancing and singing, <laughs> but not in the streets. You know what I'm saying? That's oh, right. Yeah. Because, Selling drugs and and doing nigga shit, and hey, it worked out. That's right. Because when you think of it, the father's going to be more attentive and caring for the household because his name is attached to that house. That's it. Yeah, you go make a, you go you go, you go uh, stain his name. Think about it, you know. Think about the repercussions yeah. and the consequences that's gonna come with it. That's mm -hmm. right. Some some, got, some fathers, yeah, man. You have those dudes away with their kids, man. Some fathers uh, don't even want to deal with them no more. Some fathers take their kids out, you know. So once again, hey, in the ancient world, in the ancient world, you put your stone to death, man. They yeah, were, that, it was that, all that, about bringing shame to the family. That's right. in the law. That's yeah. in the law. If if, if your if your child don't want to listen to you. You bring them to the to the elders, last last resort, and then you know, yeah. and if, and essentially if they don't listen to nobody, then they get taken out. Make them yeah, make them a public example. Exactly. Yeah. And you move that shame step. from your family. Go ahead, tell right. the This is Jeremiah thirty one and twenty two. It says, "How long would thou go about, O oh, thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth, a woman shall mm -hmm. compass mm -hmm. men, mm -hmm. right? And when when the Lord put this forth." This is symbolic as a clock. How bad can it get? Okay, mm. because this this woman, when she get to this past uh, the spot where she's come passing a man, what's going to happen is uh, uh, the breakdown of family, like we're talking about. Yep. Okay, yep. and now you yep. now you got a bunch of feminine men. Yeah, that, that, that's why yeah, yeah. That's why yep. Esau gave y'all gave y'all bitches housing, man. Well, mm -hmm. you think housing was all about the housing project? Uh, that that shit was all about so, so that you women can have absolute control of the house, man, or yeah. of the roof. Ahead of the right? house. So that's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's, kick that's the what man I'm out. Basically. Kick the yeah. man out when you didn't agree. Yeah, yeah. I feel the um emasculated. Yeah. I her yeah. feel uh macho. Macho. You know, yeah. took her out of her goddamn elements. It started with yeah. the nigger woman, and you yeah. see it um, trickle down with the tribe. You know. Yeah. The more and more you be in America, the worse and worse you get, man. Yeah, that's it. That's worse it. and worse you get, man. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, yeah, man. It, 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 like I said last week, and if you don't believe us, just go out, go ask your lo your local uh, uh, Ishmaelite, open your local gas station. Yeah. No, why, why don't they have your, local, your quickie mark? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yo, and, and I actually did it. And I, you know, do say, yeah, my friend. Yeah, yeah, my friend, you know, <laughs> my country is very nice here. I can't, you know, the, the my country women treat me good, you know. I say, yeah, man, because he, what he was saying is that, you know, once he, once his women come over here, that mentality, yeah. that Babylonian mentality yeah. takes hold, and that's it. Over, yeah. and that's it, man. They'll have a grip on you quick and fast in a hurry, man. I got yeah, this up real quick, bro. I, I, I could add because I was um 
the other night I was watching the Eddie Murphy stand up and he was mentioning it was during the 80s. He had that purple print suit on. He was saying how he wanted to go to Africa and get him a wife, but he said it ain't gonna matter because the minute she talks to an American woman, she gonna it's tell over. him to leave him and take half. Yeah, that's, it's over. It's over. It's, it's over. over. It's over, so, man. Also, another example is why the Afghanistan, uh, what is the Taliban, uh, 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 uh you know, yeah. America, you know, what I'm saying so hard. You know what I'm saying? And that's why when they got when they got the opportunity to run in their country, what they saying? Women stay in the house. You know what I'm saying? Do what you're supposed to do. All right, because they know Babylon has a, a strong influence on women, especially now we're going to the seas, you know. So, go ahead, bro. Uh, Matthew 24, verse uh, verse 21, and he says, Uh, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of time of the world to this time, no, not ever shall be, and except those days should be shortened. There should no flesh be saved, but for the lexic, those days should be shortened. Mm -hmm. yeah, what, man. And the Lord's and he's coming. The Lord's coming. The more you see prophecy be fulfilled, the more the closer another day uh we go um another day. Yeah. This is all a this con this is all a big nightmare, man. And sooner, you know, very soon we're gonna we're gonna be woken up out of this. Out of here, man. You're gonna be taking out this nightmare. Man. This is a nightmare, you know. The, the every day you gotta get up, you know, gotta look at yourself in the mirror and, and, and see yourself catching hell, man. You know, all the all the hell we go through, you know, not just with the women, but you know, also trying to trying to uh, 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 be a man. You know, it's so hard being a man these days because there's a frontal attack on manhood, man. You know, they 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 take the jobs away from us, you know, they they. You know, Esau makes it way harder for us to do anything, man. You know, you, you even got it that, you know, it, it's cheaper for a woman to have the, the, the light bill on her name than a man. And I, I found out I found out about that the hard way, man. Well, that's messed up. That's fucked up. Yeah, it, but Shoot. it is true. It's true. It's yeah. true. So even certain bills, you know, Esau has it for, for, for it could be accommodated to women. But when it comes to us, man, we got no mercy from these devils, man. And then and, and you gotta get up every morning and realize the hard truth about it, you know, and 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 keep going, you know, keep going, you know, and 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 strap on the armor of faith because that's the only thing that can keep you going, which yeah. is the word, man. Every morning you gotta you gotta you gotta fight Satan with the scripture, you gotta put on, you know, that armor, you know, and pray to the Lord that He gives you the strength to endure to the end, because the scriptures say he that endureth unto the end the shall, shall be saved. Right, contrary to what these Christians will, will tell you that you've been saved already, you know, the scriptures say otherwise. Scriptures say he that endures to the end because you can be taken out of this tomorrow, God, you know, right. in the next hour. You can be hey, taken out of it any time, man. That armor is necessary, especially yeah, in the time brothers is going through evictions, yeah, uh, relationship failures. Uh, mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot that's going on, so yeah, you know, make sure that you, you, you yeah. stay strapped on, man, you stay prepared. Yeah. And if you're not a man of the Lord, con. If you're not a man of the Lord, man, a man that doesn't have that hedge on him, mm -hmm. a man that doesn't have uh the the covering or 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 wisdom, you know, you easily go rob a bank or or or, or go sell some drugs. Go back into the world. Yeah. Go back the into world. the world. You know, it's that old nigga. Yeah, yeah, that old nigga trying to get it, trying to get a way out, trying to escape. You know, but you you know, but once you come to terms and accept that you're a man of the Lord. And you're, this is meant to be, this is your destiny, yeah. you know, to be, you know, in, in this predicament because you, you, you hope to have a, 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 a kingdom, right? Once, you know, once you, once you, once, once you realize that, man, from then on, man, it, it, it becomes easier, man. You know, that's what the scriptures say. Those that are burned, what's the scripture? Those that are burned, come rest, come rest, rest with us. Yep. Yep. Right. Because, you know, once you, once you accept these things. That the Lord spoke of, right? The servant's not greater than his master. You know, it 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 it, it, le it, it uplifts you, man. It, it takes a little bit of the weight off, because right, because the, the the main weight is in your everything happens in your brain, man, in your head, man. It's all in your head. You know, Pro 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 Proverbs twenty nine and eighteen in Scripture reads, uh, it says, "Where there is no vision, the people, the people perish. perish. Mm -hmm. But he that keepeth the law, happy is." Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. and that's going into once again, like hey, you mentioned, uh, having that foresight, that belief system, that faith. All yeah. right, 
you know, if you don't see what's uh, coming down the road, you know, eventually a uh, person is just going to wither away. All right. Yeah. He left to his own devices and lean on his own and eventually destroy himself. Yeah, if I may, bro, faith is that fuel to keep you going. That's just right. like your car, your car needs to, to be, if you go, if you want to go somewhere, you got to put gas in your car. Right. That's for us, it's, to, it's a faith, man. The faith right. is the fuel that keeps us going. Right. No matter That's what, right. no matter the right. condition, no matter the circumstances, we have to keep on moving keep because pushing, of, we can hey. see the head of uh, the world ahead of us, man. Right. Hey, and what makes you a great man is, is the man that endures the hardest, man. Mm. When you endured, you know, you, you got some bragging rights, man. That's why Apostle Paul said that what he he um he he brags what he'll brag about his infirmities. Mm -hmm. right? right, roughly paraphrasing. So because because we understand that you know we you know what kind of men are, are we gonna be, you know, we get up in the kingdom having endured nothing. You know, our Lord the Lord Yahweh Shai endorse endure the worst. He died for you, man. Right? Yeah. He took up a cross, he, he gave up his he was a, he's a second in command in the whole universe and had to give that up to come down to that for some wicked, perverse Negroes, man. All right, All right. you know how you know how you know how bad that is, right? Yeah, I got to preach that, why, brother. Right, this is why we worship him. He is worthy to worship because it makes him bad because of what he did, man. Yeah, Con. Revelation chapter two verse two. Mm. I know thy works, I know thy labor, I know thy patience, and thou cannot bear them which are evil, and has tried mm. them. Which say they are apostles or are not, and has found them liars, and has borne and has patience for my name's sake, and has labored and has not fainted. Mm. Mm. That's a heavy precept, man. Yeah. That's a heavy precept, man. The Lord's looking for the ones that haven't fainted, man. Those are the ones that are going to receive those. Those are worthy to receive those crowns. Because you know, for you to be worthy, you have had to do something worthy of of of, of whatever you know. Or whatever recognition you 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 know you're you're worthy of, man. Mm. You know, and this is why we say, man, you gotta endure. The 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 key is enduring, man. Don't try to overbe too much. Just take the punches. Pray to the Lord and and keep it moving, man. And 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 you know, meditate day in and day out with the with the Comforter's telling you because this is why it's called the Comforter for a reason. He yeah, said, "I'll leave you the Comforter, which is the Scriptures, man." Uh, I got one real quick, bro. Uh, first Corinthians eleven, uh, fi uh, fifteen verse, uh, verse uh, fifty-seven, and he says, "Uh, but thanks be to Yahweh, which, which gave us the victory to Yahweh, our Lord Yahweh Shammashiach. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord." Yeah, and how can that scripture apply to you if you've never gone through nothing, man? Right. So, so if you ain't going through nothing, you know these scriptures that that we're reading can't apply to you. So, so that means about it. For you're not a man of the Lord. That's right. You're well, not a man of the Lord. Through, if you go, you go through something and then you crack. Yeah. You know, you, you break and then you give up on the brotherhood. You give yeah. up on everything. It goes to show you that you was never built for this. As the scriptures say, they was never with us. I got yeah. to back you up. This is Ecclesiastes 2 and verse 12. It says, Woe be to the it says, Woe be to the fearful hearts and the faint hands, the sinner that go up two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted. Yeah, so believe it not, therefore shall he not be defended. If yeah, I may do it's like you, you got it, you got it, Bonner Wall. If I may, the scripture says in uh Ecclesiastes 2, verse 1, right? Yep. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for the petition. So meaning once you come to this. Uh, arena, get your mind right. Get mm -hmm. know what you set up for, man. Right. You gotta be ready uh, uh, at all costs, man. Because uh, uh -huh. you have to count the cost. Because right. you never know. Because once you come to this arena, that's you going to war with sin, man. And sin gonna 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 fuck with you, man. So you gotta yeah. be pre uh, ready mentally to deal with whatever adversity that the Lord Yahweh has uh, put on you, man. Uh -huh. Scripture also says that we're prisoners of hope. All right, but they say uh, you know when you look up a prisoner. You know, he's in a prison. That's not a place you would want to be at. You know, so right. you can do all things that come with the arena, with, like you said, the, the, the environment. All right, but you got to hold on. Your time is up. Right? That's right. That's yeah. what we're doing. Uh, continue um, on. It's uh, verse 14. says, Woe well, unto you that have lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? Yeah. So the Lord, come, he's going to come for you. But yeah. what you going to do in that time period, in that time of grace where you have to wait it out? You wait it out. You're suffering. You have to deal with everything that it comes with. So that's right. the end, the Lord is going to restore you, and He's going to give you something to you even stronger. All right, and right. 
you're gonna shine like the firmament. Man. If I'm here while you're waiting, all things are happening to you. Yeah, that's exactly why Yahweh Shai is not at the position. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need, we're gonna, you're going to be need to be here from all these things that you, you went through. Man. Yep. Yep. Man, this is uh first Peter's uh chapter four, verse one. For so much then as Yahweh Shai have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Mm -hmm. He that's from the flesh uh, sees from sin. I'm gonna jump down. Um, I'm gonna jump down to. Uh, I'll jump down to. Look at this right here. Uh, Twelve. It says, uh, uh, "Beloved, think not it strange concerning the fiery trial which will try you, as though some strange thing happened to you, but rejoice in so much as ye are partakers in Yahweh Shai's suffering, that when His glory shall be revealed." Ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reapproached for the name of Yahweh shall happy are ye, for the spirit of glory of the Lord rests upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as or a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet any man suffer as an anointed, let him let him not be ashamed. But let him glorify the most on his behalf. So yeah, when you when you try to when you when you try to walk in his stead, you know you, you you the world ain't gonna like you. Mm -hmm. The world is gonna call you strange. They're gonna call you weird. They're gonna think that why? Because you're totally different. Yeah, you're totally different. The world is you know you're swimming upstream. You know you're you're you're, you're you stand out like a sore thumb because the world is geared just to go with status quo. You know they're in a state of vicious cycle of. One, one is Halloween, it's Christmas after that, it's uh, this birthday, it's, it's folly after folly, it's just in a fucking cycle, go to work, all they know is go to work and work hard and brag and boast and pay your bills and, you know, you know they just program zombies, you know what I'm saying? So when you step outside that realm, you know, all them demons are going to come at you. All, 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 all them principalities and spirits are going to come at you. And if you're not built like that, you know, it's going to break you. Break it up, bro. Uh, the water. It's going to break you. I got, I got going to break you. Because you have mentioned that. Too, uh, this is Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, Honor, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of your how about you know, God, that you may be able to stand the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle, wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high, in high places. Hey, you see that? It said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against uh, oh, yeah. spiritual demons and principalities. Um, like you, you, You're not even wrestling your mom. When you're in the world, you look at, that's your mom. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, that's my teacher, or this is my boss. You look at specific things, but you, you when you come into this knowledge, you know that these spirits could jump on any goddamn body. And you start to right. look at people as spirits. A spirit could jump on, an evil spirit could jump on anybody, and that person will be your adversary. That That's person will come up against you. That person will put you to death. You got, in this day and age, you got women killing their kids, man. It's oh, like yeah. a, it's become like a normal thing, bro. Yep. Uh, guys killing women, women killing kids, people just random shootouts, robberies, all kind of shit that's just happening to people that you think wouldn't, would, this wouldn't happen to. Mm -hmm. You just had you killing in the mall, and I'm looking at the kid. I'm looking like he don't look like a shooter. Yeah, well, yeah. That's an ignorant statement to say. Yeah, you, know, you don't know who the hell. Yeah, uh, Lord will put this spirit on anybody, to whack any goddamn body, any the, place. The, I was legit. Yes. I, I was at I was at the store. I was at the store just the other day, and I seen these kids came in with masks. You know what I'm saying? And I and I really thought to myself like these little niggas will shoot anywhere, any place. Like nothing off limits to these niggas, man. That's so it. when them spirits jump on them kids, man, hey, I got to do. Oh, so like to add on too, like when you when you look at things spiritually, you give a better response uh, to that situation. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, I right, if you think carnally, you're gonna give carnal results, but if right. you think spiritually, you know to navigate. I right, that's a Satan trying to get to me. I right, right. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave. Or I'm gonna do this. You're gonna make the best possible decision to help you get out of that situation because ultimately. Never know what's gonna happen. You know? The most, the most, I can have it where a, 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 a spirit created for vengeance can be in that facility. All right, and the first thing you want to do is, you know what, judge the matter spiritually, get up out of dodge. You know, how would you how would you to straight on? You gotta, you gotta walk in the street. Uh, hey, anybody got anything else? I have the book of Romans eight. 
Go ahead, bro. Um, 8 and 31. You got it, bro. It says, what should we then say to these things? If the Lord be for us, then who can be against us? If he, he that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all then? Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Lord's elect? Mm -hmm. It is the Lord that justifies. Who is he that it condemned? It is Mashiach that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of the Lord, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach? Right. Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? For as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as cheap for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Lord, which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yeah. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's a perfect scripture to close off on, right? Mm -hmm. Like, don't let nobody separate you from this thing of ours, this brotherhood. You, you ain't gonna see so-called black Native American and Hispanic so united underneath one cause with, with love, you know what I'm saying? With a natural love that's fervent, ready to lay down their lives for the for the for their brethren, for their nation, you know, who's front line in this war, you know, you know, not bending, not wavering, you know, putting things in order the right way. You know, not being taken heed to these seducing spirits and doctrines. Um, you know, the last line of defense, you know, the last men left, man. The rest of these niggas are they through. They're gone. They're finished. Huh. You know, they're for, they're finito. Finito. They're out of here. That's out of here. That's right. You know? Right. So the Lord put that put Lord put a spirit on the remnant of men to be fucking men, man. To be men, you know. Right. So hey, with that, we pray and hope that that was edifying. We want to give all praises and honor to Yahweh. Shout for the elders and the epistles. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaf that would die house of David. Till next time, we say Shalom. 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 Baba Baba. 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 Baba Ba